So we are ready for one of the much anticipated bouts of night number 14 of the ongoing Ghana Professional Boxing League. We are ready to roll. It's a six round. Now officials for this bout, we have T.A. Brown, Sule Isa and Richard Gatte. These are the judges. Now introducing the boxer fighting out from the blue corner, uh, spotted in the blue white trunks, white shoe, blue gloves to match. He came to the ring with a weight of 173 pounds and this is the boxer who was born and bred in Aguna Federal. And this is the boxer with the official record of two fights, one draw, one win. Presenting to you the boxer, Pri Ai! Crossing over to the red corner, and as usual, sworded in a black and yellow trunks, black, yellow shoe, blue gloves to match. And this is the boxer who came to the ring with a weight of 178.0 pounds. And this is the boxer coming out from the gymnasium that groomed and nurtured Professor Zum Zum Azuma Nelson and Aikba Sukakote. That is Akotoku Academy. And this is the boxer with the official fight of four fights. No defeat, no draw, four wins, three of the wins. Came by way of Mok Art, presenting to you the boxer, Paul Saki. And the man in charge of this fight is Nipe Kote. All right, so this one is uh, All right, a line that everyone who comes out for six rounds, uh, Paul Saki. Fed it out on the Akunuku Boxing Academy against Prince Ahin, who battles out of the Seaview Boxing Team. Prince Ahin fighting out of the blue corner in uh, blue and white shorts. Uh, Paul Saki fighting out of the red corner in uh, yellow and black apparel. Paul Saki, the taller and bigger of the two. And we, yet, we are yet to see where the Round size. One would uh, translate into power That's both boxers uh, right away they go into hard exchanges uh, refusing to go into a uh, sizing up uh, and they say no sizing up they go straight up uh, into a two to two affair i am missing a wide left hand uh, at this point, it is Paul Saki fighting on the back foot. Goes in for an uppercut. And the prince are in lands a huge left hand to the jaw of Paul Saki. Paul Saki goes against the ropes, uh, being pinned there by Prince Aina. Uh, Prince Aina, uh, very fierce puncher. But as to whether he can sustain aggression uh, for the entire duration of the fight, uh, is a question uh, that is yet to be answered. Uh, Trying to fight on the inside, holding high his guard and trying to get close to his adversary in order to land his own flurries. Left him under left right to the head of Paul Saki. Paul Saki goes in with an uppercut. Beautiful job in by Paul Saki. He is the Ranger of the two, and therefore, I expect him to fight uh, from a distance. Paul uh, Saki, the chap in the yellow and uh, black trunks, a very, very beautiful job there from. Paul Saki, I like his job, then why? Yeah, yeah, Paul Saki is very, very cool with his job establishment. And that is keeping up bay 
uh, to Prince Ahene. Very slick move there from Paul Saki. And this time around, uh, Paul Saki is uh, giving some good, good movement there. Making sure he uses job establishment to probe his way through. Uh, getting into the defense of Prince Ahene. And Prince Ahene is marching on. Uh, and that was a good uppercut there from uh, Paul Saki. And I like, I like the game plan of uh, Prince Ahene. He knows he is the shorter of the two. Therefore, he doesn't want to fight at range. He wants to fight close. Bell goes. The end of the Yeah. Two. Round number two coming up. Paul Saki. From the red corner coming up against uh, Prince Ayan from CU in the blue corner. Paul Saki goes back to his double game, but Prince Ayan comes up with a huge right hand to the face of uh, Paul Saki. Paul goes back to his jabbing game, jabbing and moving backwards beautifully. But Prince Ayan, he's throwing a uh, makers, uh, huge, huge shots coming from Prince Ayan. Uh, Mrs. Wanley on this occasion uh, misses the game with a huge uppercut. Uh, Beautiful work from uh, Paul Saki, jabbing and moving wonderfully. I know one thing about uh, Paul Saki is that he has good head movement, good defensive movement from uh, Paul Saki. Prince Ayn swings, but he misses because the head movement of Paul Saki is beautiful to watch. Yeah, you know, uh, Prince Ayn knows that he is uh, a bit uh, disadvantaged in terms of... Uh, height and reach. Therefore, he loves to fight on the inside and he lands a, a couple of shots to the head of uh, Paul Saki. Paul Saki finding real trouble in this very fight against Prince Zayn. Prince Zayn, he is uh, swinging for the fences. Uh, my goodness. Uh, and Ayn uh, is uh, giggling about something. I wonder what it is. Uh. Both boxers uh, Young, ferocious boxers, and there's a, a blow to the bell line of Paul Saki. Referee ignores that, uh, and they go on the inside game. Uh, Prince Ayn uh, missing with the uppercut. And then as I'm going, now when you look at uh, the game plan of uh, Prince Ayn, it seems he wants to go the body, making sure to land a couple of body shots uh, to Paul Saki, to slow Paul Saki down. Paul and Saki wants to go for a clinch, but uh, Prince Ahin uh, denies him. Yeah, I think uh, the, the body shot uh, from uh, Prince Ahin is taking a toll on uh, Paul Saki, trying to slow him down so if uh, Prince Ahin can get something from Paul Saki. But Paul Saki is very durable. He always uh, launches with an uppercut and jab, probe with a jab, probe with a jab. But this time around, it is Prince Ahin who's trying to probe with a jab, getting close to Paul Saki. Prince Ayn, he wants to uh, take uh, Paul Saki out of there with one uh, haymaker, but Paul Saki, very, very alert on every occasion. Uh, those uh, stinking jabs and uh, uppercuts from uh, Paul Saki caused a lot of trouble for Prince Ayn. But Prince Ayn, uh, he keeps probing forward, uh, keeps marching forward, uh, swinging and uh, missing, and sometimes uh, catching his opponent. Uh, the club goes for the 10 seconds. Wonderful display there from both boxers. The bell goes at the end of round number two. Jab, jab your way through and make sure you connect with some combo. And that is what Paul Saki is doing. And Prince Ayn also relying on the haymakers. Now round three coming up your way. This is a light heavyweight contest. Scheduled for six rounds between Akotoku Academy. Paul Saki fighting in the yellow and black trunks. And Prince Sahin from CVU. Steve, Steve, uh, solid punches from uh, Paul Saki. He is back pedaling, but, but at the same time, he is landing some delectable uh, and punishing punches uh, straight to the face of Prince Ayn. Prince Ayn has a uh, very, very little head movement, so almost everything that uh, Paul Saki throws uh, gets to him. Uh, they go into a bit of a tussle. Derek, what do you see so far? Well, I think that uh, both boxers are doing well. But my, my, my boy needs Akabule. <laughs> I see him a, a bit exhibiting a lot of uh, uh, boxing 
uh, uh, skills. Um, he, he, he has control when when his opponent is on him, he's able to control himself well. And when he's on the uh, offensive, he, he also does well. And I think that uh, um, he just need to do a little more for him to lead uh, 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 this particular fight. He just need to you know up his game the more, do a bit more movement, and that, that, that I think that would be uh, uh, what will give him what he needs to win the, the, this particular fight. Yeah, on point there, Derek Nias Ayankra, this fight, uh, very, very hotly contested. I mean, uh, Paul Saki giving it his all, and uh, Prince Zahid, he is not backing down, uh, throwing all his asthma out there. My oh my, uh, Prince Zahid, uh, Paul Saki, the battle of the two peas. I like that, the battle of the two peas. None of some gold. The Prince uh, this is the Apostle Paul. <laughs> Can the Apostle Paul preach any good news tonight? Or will the Prince hold to that way in his own domain? My oh my. Prince Aina in the blue and white trunks. Paul Saki in the yellow and black trunks. This fight, a very exhilarating affair. Smeltering it in the middle of that four square circle. They call boxing uh, the theater of the unknown, uh, where illusion uh, collides uh, with reality. We are live from the Bukum Boxing Arena. It is a Ghana professional boxing league brought to you by IMAX uh, Boxing Promotions in collaboration with the Ghana Boxing Authority. This one ends. Uh, feet back of the night, Paul Saki brings that in the bell goes the end of the round and uh, he has what it takes to, to, to control, to have total control over the fight and I want, that is what I want to see him do so Derek is talking about uh, him having a total control and seeing him do what he does best uh, this is a light heavyweight contest scheduled for 6 rounds and this is the round 4 between Paul Saki fighting from the Kotoku Academy in the red, Ladies yellow, and black trunks, uh, and Let Prince Zion uh, from Seaview Jinx. Uh, look at them goal again. Uh. Two, four, nine, four, the heat is on. Uh. Prince Zion and so Paul Saki. Paul Saki relying on the job, and that left hand to connect for Prince Zion. He goes in for again uh, for that left hand, uh. but this time around, uh, Paul Saki noticed that he gathers himself up for the clean game. Uh. Paul Saki is complaining something to the referee. And the referee, Nikwe Kote, had a word uh, to Prince Ahen. The fight regains Paul Saki, Prince Ahen. Wild well, miss there for Prince Ahen. And Paul Saki relying on that job establishment again. Uppercut landing for Paul Saki. Prince Ahen trying to retaliate, but Paul Saki so swift. Moves out from danger zone using the job establishment to probe his way through to the defense of Prince Ahim. The cornerman of uh, Paul Saki urging the fighter on uh, to keep the chase up and keep the heat on his opponent, Prince Ahim. Prince is also marching on while wow, missed that from Prince Ahim. And that upper, that counter came from Paul Saki. Wow, missed that from Prince Ahim again. And Paul Saki is on a sender trying to land a couple of and flurry punches but Prince Ahim trying to turn uh, but he didn't get the sassa of it fight taking up the center stage again it's Paul Saki landing the right hand again on Prince Ahim yeah, no, I like one thing from Paul Saki when your opponent misses you make him pay Prince Ahim missed there and he was made to pay he paid very very dearly for that miss and uh, a huge swelling on the left eye of uh, Prince Ahina, a result of those uh, stinging jabs uh, and the uh, stiff uh, right hands uh, from Paul Saki. Very, very impressive fight from both guys. I am so impressed. Uh, I mean, uh, but I think that going forward, I, uh, I think that Prince Ahina should uh, move down in weight for his body size. 
if he's fighting around middle with it will be quite good for him. I think that our coaches should uh, be a bit mindful of the weight categories that they allow the boxers to compete at. You should look at the boxers' body mass and body size before pitting him up at a particular weight category. Yeah, you know, they are waiting boxing for a reason. Exactly. Wow, a, a wonderful and sweet uppercut for Prince Ayin, and there goes the bell. He, he must just hey, see hey. us in the ring. As much as he's leading, he must get serious. So that is coming from uh, Derek. Paul Saki needs to be serious. He has a rich advantage. Make sure you use your job establishment. Probe your way through the defense uh, of your opponent. And see if you can get something out of him. Uh. But if he falls in for the inside game, Prince Ahin is going to get a better mentor of him. Uh. And this is the round five uh, of the light heavyweight contest between Paul Saki and Prince Ahin and Paul Saki utilizing the job establishment catching his opponent back in the ropes there Paul Saki Paul Saki in instances he switches his stance from orthodox to South Pole and back to orthodox I like that display from Paul Saki very very masterful and brilliant staff he is at this point toying with Prince Aina. Wonderful combination work from Paul Saki. I love that display from the young boy from Choco. And they call him Barney. They call him what? Barney. <laughs> and why this fight has been very, very impressive. A wide miss there from uh, Prince Ayn. Prince Ayn, uh, he has not backed down here. Has been all action uh, moving forward and uh, very aggressive. But Paul Saki with a more technical and more tactical display on this night. Uh, and you will see NY that uh, Prince Ayn has been missing most of these big punches. Uh, what would have happened if he had created those punches? We would have been telling a different story by now. Yeah, we could have seen a different story, but uh, it all boils down to the defense uh, duty of uh, Paul Saki. That is a, a wild miss there from Prince Sahin. And this is something Derek was talking about. Paul Saki have the rich advantage, and he should use that. And look at that. Look at that beautiful moment from uh, Paul Saki. Now he switches to South Paul and he switches to Orthodox. And it's making things difficult for Prince Ayn to adjust to that kind of stance to fight with his opponent in front of him. Paul Saki fighting from the Kotoku Academy. It's delivering some beautiful moments here. Paul Saki, his uh, fighting style reminds me fondly of the man, uh, that British heavyweight high corner, Lennox Lewis. Steve job and exactly monster right hand exactly solid uh, solid display from uh, and Prince Ayn almost went down from that check right hook uh, from Paul Saki Saki exhibiting finesse and of the finish storm and uh, Paul Saki Prince Ayn and Derrick uh, for, for this particular fight. That is coming from Derek. Uh, he says he has no doubt uh, that uh, Paul Saki will become the winner. And we are the last one, but let me go back to Derek. Derek, what do you think of uh, Paul Saki's power even as a light heavyweight? Well, and I think that he, he needs to do some more. If you look at his weight, I, I expect his punches to be because the number of punches he's thrown in this particular fight. If he has that power punch, he should have completed, should have ended the, 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 the fight already. I think that he must work on the effiness of his, his punches. In terms of power, as uh, a light heavyweight, NY, yeah. we are in the final round. Uh, how have you seen it so far? Well, uh, when you look at Paul Saki, when you talk about technical and uh, how effective the punches have been landed, uh, he's very sound on that uh, occasion. But it is Prince Ayin who is trying as much as possible to also get something extraordinary 
so he can see if he can turn things around. Uh, but as it stands now, it is uh, Paul Saki who's making things difficult for Prince Ayan. He has a way of switching his stance. For some uh, seconds, you see him switching to the Orthodox. For some minutes, you see him switching to the South Pole. And when you're fighting with a kind of opponent who loves to switch his stance, it's very, very difficult to adjust to that kind of style. So for me, I feel Paul Saki has done enough for me, his job establishment, how he makes sure he utilizes his job and goes in for the hook. But there goes uh, Prince Ahin. Yeah, so hitting, Prince uh, Ahin below hitting, the belt. Uh, there. Below the belt. And uh, it looks like uh, Paul Saki is in some kind of pain. And the referee would give him time to uh, mm. try and recuperate. Uh, I mean, uh, it, it, it's not too... Yeah, he felt it, that. He felt that from Prince Ahin. It's not to have a punch to your groin. And uh, you see him wincing there. Yeah. Paul Saki. The fighter looks like he's, he, he's okay. The fighter about to resume. And a huge, huge swelling on the eye of Prince Ahina. A result of those uh, persistent uh, jabs from uh, Paul Saki. Huge uppercut, a sweet one from Paul Saki. NY, wonderful display there. It's so Paul beautiful Saki. to watch. It's so beautiful to watch. Looking at the way Paul Saki is making sure. And you know what? Nanasam Gold, he's making it look so easy. Looking at the way he's delivering those kind of punches. He knows how to select his punches well. That is always effective. And he lands clean on the face of uh, Prince Ahin. And Prince Ahin have no answers to the way that Jasmine, the stance of uh, Paul Saki. And the next seconds, he switched to Orthodox. That was a good defensive display there from Paul Saki. And he has a way of uh, neutralizing the punch from uh, Prince Ahim. And yeah. next moment, you see him going in the Philishal defense, and that makes it difficult for Prince Ahim to connect his punches. Yeah, one boxer who has mastered the art of switching stances, Orthodox to South Paul and back. The man they call the bat, Terence Crawford, Terrence Crawford. Uh, who defeated uh, the big dog and uh, was in that blockbuster of a fighter. That was a beautiful display from Terrence Bart Crawford on Arrow Spence Jr. Wonderful one right there. But right here, we have the end of this uh, very bound Prince Ahin uh, Paul Saki in an exhilarating uh, encounter there. And from the slowly we are trotting in well, the ladies and gentlemen. Shall we put our hands together for the for two the boxes? It yeah. was an amazing fight. We yeah. all saw it. The two boxes saw it and conquered. And we are yet to come up with the verdicts. Before the verdicts, let me thank our sponsors, Premium Motors. So agent and distributors of Renault cars in Ghana, the best in Ghana and beyond is Renault. Soccer bets, your best bet for sporting betting. Techno, mobile, stop at nothing. Max Buy, Happy Life, IMAX Electronics, Think Big, and Down the Milk, perfect for any meal occasion. We thank them so much for their support. Now it's all about the verdicts. After the verdicts, we are brazing up, we are counting down to the main event of the evening. WBO African title fight that we are here for. Now the verdicts. Judge 1 scored about 60 to 54. Judge 2 scored about 59 to 55. And Judge 3 scored about 59 to 55 by a unanimous point decision. Presenting to you the boxer who is a nephew to one of the finest African and Ghanaian ring official. The man who is well known in Ghana. The former winner of SWAG Award as the best referee of the year. Presenting to you the boxer. Oh, Sag!
Kiki. Yeah, Paul. Hi, Paul. You look good. Yeah, the boy. Fine. Not not some old Namisha. I mean, no one over Gabi, what's in Omawa? Okay, Joe, or no, we will be in Amokas and no Namisha. Not open and tell Emiwa Waden to tell Phil a thing. Oh, I'm a mobile. She bought Saint John Mark and no Jay Wallet. Foy Wallo, I hear you, Wallet. And a quality me, maybe you are care. You have the height, you are very good jobs. Your movement in the ring is excellent. Mini Genius and Oka Queen here, Kahabo. On a and Valia came by like bossing them on Palo, go in by ring game and animal show. No, not Chong again, the man of boxing. And now Sanana Shape, Anna Shape. Wonderful, now many you more gene like we know about how. I mean, that Mofiamush, Mofiamon, I mean, that Mofiamush. You see, I am going to find you and walk when you can ask you. You should go on for next two weeks. I was a beer, could buy your Mofiam. Money never had a shiny bread, TV moon. You are no assured. We don't coach you, sir. We don't Okay, thank you very much, Paul.